hey everybody welcome back to my channel today i am going to take you with me for a little behind the scenes action of the johnson family photo shoot for 2020 as you can see the shenanigans has already begun so if you want to see more of these people go ahead and click that subscribe button so let's go ahead and get into it first i'm going to introduce you to my family um, and then we're going to talk about some of the styling as well as some tips i have if you are doing a family photo shoot This video is sponsored by Danny Joe Eyewear, so you can shop all of our sunglasses from Danny Joe. I will link the information in the description box below. All right, so let's get to the point. Um, the very first thing that you should do is plan each person in the family's look. I usually try to plan their looks based on their style. So DJ will be wearing two shirts from Crazy 8, which is now out of business. His jeans are from Old Navy. His blazer is from Amazon and his shoes are from Nautica, which I probably purchased at Marshalls or Burlington. I really love these little tan patches on the elbow of DJ's corduroy blazer. I thought that was really cool. So that's really what enticed me to buy it. Dante's look is a sweatshirt that he got from BWI Airport. It's a Baltimore sweatshirt. He did a lot of cool things in Baltimore this year, so we wanted to make sure that was highlighted in our family photos. His pants are from the Banana Republic, and his linen blend blazer is from the Suit Supply. His shoes are Nike. So I'm going to wear a velvet blazer that was thrifted. I'm also gonna wear this yellow dress from Shein, a belt bag from Danny Joe. My boots are D-squared and my hat is from Unlimited Masterpieces. As I said before, all of our sunglasses will be from Danny Joe Eyewear. So of course, the next step will be to get dressed. Um, unless you're making a video like me, you should probably do this at home. But for the sake of showing you how these outfits were layered, I'm going to do a little bit of our dressing on scene. So DJ has on a flannel plaid shirt. Um, I'm going to have him hold the cuffs of his shirt so that I can put him on another corduroy shirt. And then I'm also going to put on his blazer. Um, the reason he's wearing two shirts is, number one, it's kind of windy out. So <laughs> I didn't want him to have on a coat in the picture. I also wanted him to have a good mix of the colors and textures that we're all wearing. Um, as you can see, we just didn't go with like just one traditional color. We were going more with um, corduroys, velvets, um, the fall colors, the browns, the yellows, the greens. So I wanted him to have on something that kind of had all of the colors in it because he's usually wearing something pretty colorful or he's in athletic wear probably like all the time. You will see why throughout this video we don't get him all dressed up frequently. So once he puts his arm through the blazer, what I'm doing is just adjusting his shirt. The shirt has a hood on it, which is amazing. Um, I really wanted him to wear a hoodie, but truth be told, I wasn't going out to buy a new hoodie since we go absolutely nowhere right now. And anything, any clothes that I buy, he grows out of them since he's not wearing them. So now I'm adjusting his sleeve so that you can see that he has on like three different shirts and also to form like a little cuff under his blazer jacket that matches the patch on the back of his elbow. It also matches his shoes. So for any major event or wedding family photos, he gets to decide how he wants to wear his hair. He decided that he wanted to wear his bush, which is also his afro. Um, so you just see me like picking out his bush, also tying his shoes, hopefully hoping that he will look more polished. That's not going to be the case though. Since nobody else is around and we're about to take pictures, I go ahead and I take his mask off. Dante's layers are pretty self-explanatory. Um, we will not be getting him dressed on scene, but you see him back there, you see what he's wearing. Now you see me putting on my velvet blazer. Um, I got it from probably Goodwill for like $8. It is a men's blazer and I love it. 
you also see me putting on my boots i love these boots these are probably my favorite from this season um they are from d squared and they have these super dope yellow shoestrings i have on really high socks but i'm going to slouch them down because i think it would look better with the dress since my dress is more so like a midi dress um, you also see now I have on my blue sunglasses as I'm slashing down the other sock. And you see DJ back there being dirty, per usual. Now, boy moms everywhere. How? How did this happen? How? Who knows? Nobody knows. <sighs> it's so common. Anyway, so you see me putting on a belt bag. I'm wearing the belt bag to kind of um, accentuate my waist a little bit more in this men's blazer because if not it will be boxy and we are not going for a spongebob look today okay pull the blazer down also adjust the collar in the bottom of the blazer all right now the most important step is the actual photos i mean we just honestly we winked it <laughs> um I don't like super staged photos. I don't like posing. We are not those people. We are not that family. So I told our photographer to just take pictures. I told him that DJ would be DJ and Dante would kind of be his hype man as expected he was. Um, and so that's what he did. So he caught us <laughs> as the people that we really are. So this is the actual audio from the day of the shoot. What is he doing? Why? <laughs> he said, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, he chilling. All I heard was, what is he doing? <laughs> so I think the beauty in all of that foolishness is that um, you couldn't really get that if it was like, everybody come sit down, tilt your head to the side, take a picture and smile. Um, they are never quite like that. We are never quite like that. Um, so I wanted something that they would feel comfortable with. It didn't have to be a task to do these photos. This is the actual behind the scene footage from Dante's phone. Uh, once DJ got comfortable, you know, the dancing started. His dad let him hold a cup of coffee. He didn't drink it because, you know, dad's gone dad. Um, and then the yoga came and then here I am trying to take it from him because the last thing I need is him caffeinated. So I know you're probably wondering if we got any half decent pictures. We did. <laughs> um, and just a little bit about our looks. I didn't want to do the traditional red and green or the black or the formal pictures. We have a bunch of pictures like that. Um, so we stuck with textures and colors. We did more corduroy, more of the blues, more of the fall colors. So that these are pictures that I can use for other reasons, not just for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed our behind the scenes of our family photo shoot. Now you see why I rarely have these people included in my video. They are totally unruly. It is a very hostile work environment, but I love them dearly. I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. You can see the rest of our pictures on my Instagram page at the Danny District. I hope you enjoy. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And watch the rest of these videos too, because you know that always helps.